I'm CBS 2's Vince Girasoli. Why am I not flinching? Because he's a two-time Pan American Games gold medalist and a James E. Sullivan finalist. But this fella here is not going to the Olympics. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you why. Just ahead here on CBS 2, a karate champion from the area in a fight of his life. His struggle to bring his sport to the Olympics. That's next. He's already a world champion in karate. Now that the Olympic Games are here, a Chicago man is dreaming about the gold. But even with incredible skills, his dreams are on hold. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli introduces us now to a man who still gets quite a kick out of karate. Vince? Derek and Diane, there is no denying John Fonseca's world-class skills and incredible discipline. What keeps him in Chicago this week is the fact that when it comes to the Olympics, karate, a sport with limited corporate sponsors, doesn't have a fighting chance. They are the swift moves of a champion, graceful and powerful. The art of karate that took a hold of John Fonseca at six. This has always been my first love. Karate has a, a strong philosophy. It's not just uh, about punching and kicking. Character counts. Never giving up in the face of adversity. The discipline Fonseca loves so well has taken the 28-year-old black belt to some incredible highs. He's been named Karate's U.S. Olympic Athlete of the Year three times, won gold twice in the Pan American Games, and was a top ten finalist for the prestigious James E. Sullivan Award. But instead of preparing for Olympic glory in Athens this week, Fonseca is passing the tradition along to students at his Skokie studio. It's been really frustrating. I've always dreamed of competing in the Olympics. An ironic injury has not sidelined this champion, merely the fact that while other martial arts such as judo and taekwondo are recognized as part of the Olympic Games, karate is not. Its events are limited to pre-Olympic competitions. We just kind of stay on the uh, fringes of of athletic competition. By 2012, karate should be an Olympic demonstration sport. Fonseca will be 36 by then, determined to try and compete as long as he's kicking. Here's another example of Fonseca's discipline. Back in 2001, he suffered severe back injuries and was forced to take an entire year off. But by 2003, he was back at the Pan American Games defending his title and again winning the gold. He also says if by 2012, when there will be the possibility to play uh, karate at the Olympics, if he's not able to play, at least he hopes he can coach some of the karate kids that he's working with now. Seems a shame that the sport isn't in. It really does. Well, it takes, you know, there's an awful lot of lobbying that goes on at the Olympics. A lot of stuff that we really don't know about. But apparently uh, the lobby's getting a little bit stronger. And hopefully by 2012 we might be seeing uh, Fonseca there at the Olympics. Yeah, Let's keep nice. our fingers crossed. Mm -hmm.